All right, let's talk about traversal of trees. Okay. So let me draw a tree up here. Here's my tree. So we talk about visiting a node in the sense that I'm going to go to this node in my tree and I'm going to do some work. It doesn't necessarily matter um, what that work is, but I'm going to do some, some work. So there's several different ways that I could traverse through a tree. So one of the ways that I could do it is that I could visit the root node. Then I could visit the left child. And then I could visit the right child. OK? So if I visit the root node and do my work there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a number to each node in the tree as I go through it. So I'm going to start here with number one. And I'm going to go to the left child. Now, this piece of the tree is a subtree. And so I can consider this the root node of the subtree. And so I'm there. I'm going to do some work. I'm going to call that number two. And then I'm going to go to the left child here, call that number three. And I'm going to go to the left child here, number four. Now, when I get to this point, when I'm at the bottom of the, the leaf node on the leftmost edge, I've done, I visited the root node, I visited the left child, and, I vis and now I've got to visit the right child. I made the promise that I'm going to do that. And the way that I do it is I go back up the tree to the last piece of work that I did, and then I go down its right-hand side. Okay? So number five comes in here. Now I've done root, left, right. I go back up to the tree to the last piece of work that I did, and now I have to go down the right child. But if I go down the right child from number two, I get to this little subtree right here. And so now I have to visit the root node, six, the left child, seven, and the right node, eight. Now I'm back here. I go back up the tree until I find where I left off my promise to go visit the left and then the right. So now I'm back up at the root node. And now I go down to the right, and I've got a subtree. Now in this subtree, I've got to go to the root, to the left, and the right. So I'm at number 9. Now I go to the left, number 10, num left, number 11. Now I go back up and visit the right, number 12. I've done my work here. I go back up to where I promised to go down to the right, number 13 number 14, and number 15, OK? And this is called pre-order traversal. It's called pre-order traversal because I'm traversing the route before I do all of the other nodes. I could also visit the left child, visit the root, and then visit the right child. OK? So I'm going to go left, root, right. So in that case, I start at the root, but I don't do anything, because I've got to visit the left child first. So I go down to this subtree, I don't do anything, I've got to visit the left child. I go down to this subtree, I don't do anything, I've got to visit the left child. So I come down here, and this is number one. I've done my left child, now I do my root. The root of this subtree is up here, that becomes number two. And now I have to visit the right child, number three. I go back up to the last place where I promised to do work, number four. Now I go to the right subtree, and I'm back here at a root node. So I go to the left, 
number five, come back up, do the work here, number six, back down, do the work, number seven. So I've done left child, now I go back up to the root, and the root is the real root of the tree, the root of the whole tree, that becomes number eight, and now I've got to do the right hand subtree. So again, I'm in a subtree, so I go down to the left child, I go down to the left child, number nine, visit the root, number 10, right subtree, number 11. Go back up to the root, number 12, right subtree. Now I've got a root node, so I come down and do 13 here, root and right, okay? And this is called an in order traversal. Instead of doing left, root, right, you can visit the left child. I can visit the right child. I can visit the root. Okay? And this is called post order traversal. So I'm going to visit the left child, the right child, and then the root. So I start at the root again. I go to the left child. I'm at a root. I go to the left child. I'm at a root. I'm down here. So left child, right child, root. Now I've, I've done the work here. I go back up to this node. This is my root. I still haven't done the right child. So I come down here. Left child, right child, root. Now I've done the work for all of the subtrees here. I visit this one. I'm back up at the main root of the tree here, and I've done left child. Now I have to do right child. So now I've got to do left child, eight, uh, right child, nine, root, 10. I've done the left child. Now I have to do the right child, 11, 12, 13, now I do the root here, 14, and finally the root there, 15. Okay? So post-order traversal. Left, right, root. There's one other way I can visit the tree, which is called um, breadth first or level order traversal. And that's how you would do it left to right. So in that case, I start at the top node, I do number one, then I do number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that's how you would number a tree as you go through. But you actually very rarely process a tree computationally using breadth first, unless you're doing a very specific kinds of algorithms. Mostly we use one of these types of traversals. And mostly when we talk about manipulating trees, as you'll see, we're going to use recursive methods. Okay? And so what that means is that we do something to the left child, then we do something to the right child, and then we do something to the node we're at. Or we do something to the node we're at, and then we go to the left, and then we go to the right. 